drizzly morning, but that won't stop us from seeking out new adventures. We're on our way to see St. Croix Falls and check out some nearby trails. The trail into St. Croix Falls is short at only 150 meters and not very well marked. This is on private land, so if you visit, please be respectful and leave no trace. Although short, the latter part of the hike in has a steep decline to the base of the falls. When we were planning to visit this site, we weren't sure what to expect. Some photos we found showed a full waterfall and others showed just a little trickle. We discovered that early spring is a great time to visit the falls, creating a picturesque scene. These falls, which are also known as Pool Brook Falls, are 14 meters tall. I found the fact that you can get behind these falls to be quite unique, although when we were there, there was too much ice to do so. After leaving St. Croix Falls, we traveled west down to Acacia Valley Trails. We hiked clockwise, starting on the Acacia Valley Accessibility Trail. This 600 meter trail is accessible for wheelchairs and strollers. There's a viewing platform at the end of the 600 meters, and at this point you can turn around, or as we did, continue onto the 4 kilometer loop. This tree, named the devotional tree, was a surprise for us to find. Mersey decided she would help the beavers out. I think she did a pretty good job, don't you? There was a variety of terrain on this trail, from rocks to roots to gravel paths.
we stayed on the main route, there are a lot of side trails that give you lots of options. This trail is well marked with maps throughout, making it easy to track where you are.